Hi ladies and welcome back to another part of our preparing to be a wife series. Today we are going to dive deeper into how to actually go about courting the biblical way. How to date God's way. Keeping God in the center of your relationship. I know, I understand that some people might see courting as a bit old fashioned and may not really understand it. As you're growing your relationship with God, you see that every aspect of your life you begin to desire to glorify him including in your relationships so courting is simply doing life with your partner where you both desire to serve god together the, imagine a relationship where the love is pure the intentions are clear and every step is taken with god's guidance that can only come about by having a relationship that is built on a solid foundation. Matthew 6 33 tells us, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added unto you. This shows us that our primary focus should be keeping God first in everything we do, whether that is our career, our work, our relationships, our education, our personal life, whatever it is you are doing, keep God first. Him being your priority will allow every other area of your life to be aligned according to his will. So that's the first foundation of having a godly relationship. This foundation is actually intentionality. Dating today is so casual. It's not taken seriously. People are these days only interested in hookups, in one night stands. People are only interested in short term relationships or summer flings. These are not what we should live for. As godly women, after God's heart, you have to know that you're carrying yourself to a certain standard to a certain way of living not because you're trying to be bound by rules and regulations but truly knowing that those things those worldly things are fleeting those temporary temporary pleasures are fleeting they would never satisfy your soul that is not what god created you for you know god honors you god sees you as important so when you see yourself as important you want to be with a man that equally values you as well not somebody that's just being with you to use you for your body it's not going to pursue you in a godly way so let's get into the practical tips for courtship number one is having boundaries difference between godly relationships and worldly relationships it's essential especially when you want to honor god first thessalonians chapter 4 verse 3 to 4 says this is the will of god even your sanctification that you should abstain from fornication that every one of you should know how to possess his vessel, that's his body, in sanctification and honour. Purity and self-control are of the utmost importance. Body being set apart for God's purpose. If you're not married, your body doesn't belong to your partner or whoever you're in a relationship with. It belongs to Jesus. So premarital sex is off the table completely. And if you're with somebody that doesn't honour that, that causes you to compromise or tempts you to compromise, in your you know you know in your walk of purity then you should really question if that is god's person for you so you both being on the same page in both when it's a please god will lead you to establishing physical boundaries that will help you to maintain purity in that relationship and keep it focused on the right things on the god things the next thing to do is to communicate openly and honestly communication is so important it is considered as the bedrock for most relationships like you have to be with somebody that you're able to talk about things listen and hear each other understand each other be able to plan communicate about the future communicate about your emotions communicate and learn how to resolve you know conflict or situations communication is so key because through speaking to this person you're building a bond you're getting to understand if their vision aligns with your vision if their purpose aligns with your purpose you're you're seeing how they you know view the world you're seeing what they say about people or situations like you're you're really understanding this person so crucial don't just be with somebody that you only have shallow conversations with that doesn't even like tries to get to know you on a deeper level communicate and talk about everything make sure you ask the right questions as well in court it is not the time to be shallow like i've said ask the hard questions talk about the deep things know their vision for the future their plans for raising a family 
make sure you're both aligned on so many different things especially even finances especially even in the area of intimacy in the area of family like in-laws there's so much to discuss like what is your goal in terms of like their work their job what if they want to move to Canada and you didn't even know that until you got married to them like make sure you know everything there is to know about this person and that happens through communication and being honest with each other about every single thing you are caught in and in court in you are basically preparing to be married to this person like you've received confirmation and peace that this is even your person and during this stage of courting you're basically taking your relationship to court right you are really examining this relationship so you don't pretend and don't don't like don't be casual about it like really 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 question things get to know things because you're making a lifetime decision to spend the rest of your life with that person so you have to know everything you need to know now the next thing is to make sure you are praying together bible studies together like like i said you're building this relationship on the solid rock of christ jesus we built on a solid foundation and so it's not enough for you guys to just communicate with each other you guys both have to communicate with god as well like don't leave god outside or out of the equation of your relationship because god who brought you two together is god who's going to keep you two together as well matthew chapter 18 verse 20 tells us for where two or three are gathered together in my name there i am in the midst of them like make god the center of your relationship he'll always be there in the relationship a relationship it doesn't take two people it takes three you god and the person that you are with and also as much as you want to pray the person never forget to maintain your own personal prayer life don't only now begin to pray with the person you have to continue to grow your relationship with god i would say is to seek godly counsel um you don't know everything your partner doesn't know everything there are times where like you know you have to ask questions you have to ask also experienced more experienced people maybe people who are in a couple or long-term married ask them these questions get to know grow your understanding of what it means to be married what what are the key principles for sustaining a successful relationship these things can really really be valuable hearing like real life examples as much as you need to read watch videos watch sermons read the bible as well especially like listening to other people who are where you want to go as well is so 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 vital and there are certain advices that you would never ever forget there is a season and you know don't try to rush things or rush relationships just for the sake of it just it's it pays to wait for god's person for you it really really does and um in one of my videos on this series i do talk about what to do in that waiting season make sure to check it out so um, as you're developing yourself, as you've developed yourself, you've been growing as a woman, you've got your priorities in order, it makes it easier for you to even filter out and choose the right person to be on this courting journey with as well. But know that God has the best in mind for you. Don't try to figure out your life on your own. He loves you and he has good, good plans for you. Pray that everything that you do will be something that actually glorifies God. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure to comment, like, subscribe and leave your questions. I'll see you guys in next week's video.